Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at some little cup battles without using Bronzor. So I don't know I guess the star of the show here is going to be Murkrow. The shiny one. Let's go. So I didn't make this. I uh, talked about it in the video that I made yesterday for the little cup and it went down way too quick and after that I just replaced it and I didn't use it again. But my friend had some success with it and was telling me about it so I was like you know what we'll give it a shot because I know it will be able to resist the uh, confusion fairly well on the bronzor so we can get some farm off it. Plus it does have a dark quick move so it's looking pretty decent but uh, <laughs> Boy oh boy, the thing is very squishy. So we did find some success. There's nothing really to rush to, to be honest. I mean, what? It's so easy to get to rank 10, so no big deal. All right. Uh, we are going to have the Why Not on the team because the seal, you know, is, is yeah, it's nice. It's, it's pretty good. It, it, funny enough, I did have the lick on it, and then when I did switch it to... Uh, Ice Shard, the first thing I saw was a Bronze or lead. We'll see that here in a moment. So... Uh, yeah, the team is fairly squishy. I needed something with uh, some reliability, some tankiness, and that is going to be the why not, right? Simple as that. I invested all this Stardust. I'm not going <laughs> to not use these things. All right, so we have the Murkrow up against the uh, Bronzor. Now, if this is a Heavy Slam, we're done. But it is a Psy Shock, and I feel like they went for that because that's the only move they do have on it. Not everybody is going to be investing in these things because you're going to use them, and then, you know, when this cup is done, you're never going to probably use them again. So, uh, yeah, I don't blame them. Anyways, into the next battle here. Like I said, we do have Lick on it, so unfortunately, not very effective to the Cottony here. Just neutral damage. So we're going to go ahead and go Ice Shard so we can reduce the damage of the Charm because it is starting to dig in quite significantly. And of course, my luck, I was like running into all these cottonies in the lead. And I was thinking to myself, let's go ahead and switch it to the ice quick move on the seal. And then I didn't see a single one ever again. Go figure, you know, you know what it is. So we're going to go ahead and go for another icy win. We're getting both shields out of them. So that's pretty decent. The attack has been dropped fairly low. So we're going to go ahead and go in here with the why not and just farm it all the way down and save that energy for whatever they do have in the back. Uh, because they have no more shields, we have one left. They're not able to get to another charge move. The charm did dig in pretty nicely. And we're going to go ahead and swap into that Murkrow uh, as soon as they get into that Pokemon. And they do have an Alolan Sanchu in the back, which is not great because we are going to be part flying, taking super effective. But they have no more shields. We're able to get that through and it does a ton of damage. We're going to simply be able to get to another one here. And this will KO the Bronzor. As you can see, the damage is incredible, including onto that Alolan Sanshu. Did a ton of damage. So the thing outputs a lot of damage, but it doesn't take hits quite that well. So we do have a Makahita here. We have Lick. I'm feeling comfortable about this because I did actually look into Makahita myself. And it, it's just, you know, this cup is weird, man. You got to stick to a few. Otherwise, you're not going to be looking too great. So if he did run into a Confusion user... It's going to be all bad, but he does have that fighting quick move, so it's going to be super effective to, say, a Dino. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and stay in here, looking pretty good. They did get a shield, and they're going to be swapping. We're going to go ahead and go for the Icy Wind, just to lower the attack, and then swap in ourselves here. And kind of a, a slow swap, I think, but not too bad. Uh, just playing comfortably here. Going to be going into the Murkrow and shielding this up. It's going to be a heavy slam that wouldn't have taken us out, but it would have done a lot of damage. Going to be farming a little bit extra here and going for the foul play, taking them out. And that's awesome. They didn't use a shield there. They do have a Volpix at, at the back, and that's that's fantastic. I'm just going to go ahead and go for the drill peck, getting a shield, and that's their last one. And they are going to be farming us down. And since we do not have a Bronzor, we don't, we are, don't really need to worry about that. Uh, fire damage. So we're going to go ahead and throw in our seal here to have them use some of that energy. So our why not can just go in here and clean up. They did raise their attack. That's fine. And they're not able to get to another charge move. We still have a shield and plenty of health. And then they back out, which is great. I mean, that's very reasonable for this cup because, you know, things can get drawn out for a very long time when somebody is clearly going to lose. And I have per been personally backing out myself uh, for some of these battles. I don't want to put these people through all this uh, waste of time here. So we're going to go ahead and go for the Icy Wind onto the Bronzor. And this is exactly what I was talking about. The second we did switch it from Lick to uh, Ice Shards, <laughs> now we're going to get those Bronzor leads. So what we're going to go ahead and do is lower the attack. And if we do swap, you know, it's going to be putting us at that lock disadvantage. And they can come in with a Charm user and just wipe out the Murkrow instantly. So we do need to be very, very careful here. We're going to go ahead and go for the Aqua Tail, but unfortunately not able to get to it. So what's the game plan? We're going to go ahead and go Murkrow here, doing super effective and making a blind swap into whatever they're going to be throwing at us with the Why Not. And it is going to be a Barbroach. So 
I think we are going to be able to pull this win off here, but let's see how this does play out. Because we do need to be careful. I could have potentially stayed hidden here with the Murkrow and actually farmed a little bit extra because that quick move on Barbaroach is not going to be very effective because of the flying type on Murkrow. So they still have two shields. Um, okay, uh, holding on to that. See, here's the thing. If we hold on to a shield too, now we're we're in the clear. Because all we're going to have to do is shield everything up that Bronzor is going to throw at us. And we can farm it down with the quick move on the Murkrow. Now, say the Bronzor did have Tackle. Oh, that's going to be another story. And if you don't know about that, yes, <laughs> the Tackle on Bronzor is going to be pretty good. We are actually going to be testing that out. Not in this video, but it actually worked out quite well. So they have a Stunky in the back here. We're going to go ahead and go for another Drill Peck. And, oh no, this is, this is over. No, no, you absolutely can't win this one. All right, so yep, not not taking that win, but uh, it is what it is. So we're able to get three wins without using a Bronzor. And I know a lot of you have been having success without using it. Uh, you know, we all have different experiences depending upon the level uh, and depending upon just, you know, the algorithm in general, right? Doesn't give us all the same matchups. So we're met with a Vulpix, which is great. They're going to be instantly swapping into their Bronzor. And we're going to go right into the Murkrow. Let's see how this thing can do up against it. This is great. We're not even going to bait, and they're letting it go through instantly. And I'm thinking to myself, well, it did what it needed to do, so we're going to go ahead and just let this go through. But I, oh my gosh, look how squishy. I didn't know that would KO. I thought I would, you know, survive with a little bit of HP, but it, oh, it KO'd. So now we lost switch advantage, and we don't have, like, a shield advantage either. So we're not in the best position here. going to go ahead and go Icy Wind onto their own seal. So we still still do have the why not, which we're going to be swapping in to catch this. I mean, <laughs> that wasn't like the best plan in the world because it's not very effective to seal. I probably should have just taked it and then swapped. That would have probably been a lot better. So they're going for Aqua Tail here. And we're just going to go ahead and hit this Mirror Coat, which, you know, it's not the best move, but it does decent damage to anything but a Psychic type or a Dark type, right? Uh, so... Yeah, this isn't great. We're going to let this one go through as well. And I don't know how this one's going to play out. Going for another Mirko, able to take out the seal. And oh yeah, we're perfectly fine. Yeah, yep. We're just going to go for that bait or lower their attack. The Aqua Tail is going to be uh, easier to get to or faster to get to. Uh, but we wanted to lower the attack first. And now we're going to go ahead and go Aqua Tail. And we still have two shields. Yeah, we're looking great here. Alrighty, and there you have it. You can play without using a Bronzor. Absolutely. Uh, I am reaching higher ranks here. It's not like I'm somebody special or anything because, well, yeah, yeah this season's not difficult at all. I am currently at rank 7. Could have been rank 8, but I did a lot of tests with Pokemon. Uh, one of them being Meltan. And it really didn't perform too well. I wasted an, an entire set using it. So, yeah, that's awesome. Anyways, we are up against this uh, Shelmet here. And they're going to be going for Bug Buzz again. That's uh, perfectly fine. We're just going to go ahead and build up to another Icy Wind and just continue to lower their attack. And I don't think I'm going to be shielding anything up here. I'm just going to let it all go through. Even if we lose Switch Advantage, we want to go in and farm after this. I, we're going to survive this. And we're not going to be able to take them out. Their quick moves did. But uh, this is the bad part. They already have energy now. So we're just going to go ahead and go in here with their Why Not. And we're able to actually take them down before they're able to get out that Bug Buzz. Which would have done super effective damage. Now they're going in here with the Bronzor. Which leads me to believe that uh, maybe we have like a Cottony in the back. Or maybe a Dino. Um, because that's going to you know, be the best counters that go up against it. They can hit me with super effective. But the counters just going to dig right into it with two shields. It's not going to be good for them. Uh, so I think they're just bringing this in to wither us down a little bit, slowly but surely. And we're going to go ahead and swap into our Murkrow here. And there's that Dino. There it is. And this is the reason why I don't really recommend Murkrow too much. Look at the Dragon Breath. I know Dragon Breath is good, but look. Look how squishy this thing is. I can't even do anything. What? This sucks. <laughs> so at this point, I might as well just back out. But I think I stay in here for just a second longer. And I back out at this point. I'm like, nah, it's all right. I won't waste your time. Okay, let's keep it moving here. So like I said, the reason why I switched it back to uh, Icy Wind from Lick is because I kept running into Cottonese, but then as soon as I switched it, there, there's there's none of them. Nowhere to be seen in the lead. So uh, yeah, we're just going to continue on here. Making a swap is kind of deadly at this point. I could go into Why Not, have them swap themselves, or stay in there, and then we can preserve the uh, 
the Murkrow. So they were going to, we made a swap at the same time. Like I almost felt like this was a bot to be honest <laughs> because they do it again. You'll see. It's crazy. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go for the Mirror Code, of course. And this is a decent matchup against the Seal here. They do not have Lick, so that's not going to be doing super effective damage. But the uh, Ice Shards are going to enable them to get to their charge moves a little bit quicker as they continue to lower my attack, doing less and less damage as we go on here. And as you see, it is going to start struggling to take out the Seal because the you know, Seal's kind of thick. Uh, and we're going to, I think we just, yeah, we're just going to let all these go through here. I think I might shield up towards the end here. This might be the battle where I did that because I wanted to win swap advantage. All right, so, all right, yeah, I think we do here. Yep, sure do. All right, so we're going to be shielding that up, take them down. I don't care. Let's go. They don't really have too much to farm on me. In comes the Bronze Ore, and we're going to go with the Honchkrow and expecting them to swap out as soon as they do see that. And they do have Tackle, so that Tackle is doing decent damage as opposed to being resisted by me so trying to get a shield out of them and there's that swap again i was telling you about uh yeah it's, it's not a bot i'm just saying that's just crazy coincidence uh so making that swap again unfortunately not able to get to the icy wind but that was a fail because i could have gone aqua tail and that would have saved this whole thing yeah 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 misplays gotta love it into the next battle here we're met with a stunky and that is not Shadow, so we don't have to worry about the damage too much. They're going to be swapping into um, Encino there, and we're going to go right into our Why Not. This is great, because they're normal type. Our counter is going to be digging in. We don't need to worry about those charge moves at all, and we're not going to shield any of this up. As a matter of fact, we're going to farm it all the way down. If they come back in here with the Stunky, that's perfectly okay. The uh, Mirror Coats are still going to be doing decent damage to it. And let's take a look, and it's not Shadow, so it's going to be a little bulkier. Not very effective, but still we're able to do some damage as opposed to going up against a Bronze Ore here, digging in. And with that Bite, we don't really have to worry about them getting too much farm because it takes forever to even get to a charge move anyways. Able to get to an Aqua Tail on our Seal here. They want to take us out. They do not want to go down with you know without using that energy. So we're going to go ahead and shield that Crunch. It would have done a lot. They're going in here with the Cottony. Finally, there it is. Going to get off this Icy Wind here. And then we're going to go ahead and... Uh, yeah, we're not swapping. <laughs> we're going to stay in this fight. This time, we're not going to make this mistake of trying to build up to another Icy Wind. We're going to go ahead and go Aqua Tail here. They're going to be shielding it up. I need to get them low enough to farm them down. Uh, we have a shield left. Are we going to be able to do this, though? I don't think so. And... All right. Oh, no. Never mind. This is going to be a win. Fantastic. There you go. So if you did enjoy this video, folks, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.